so a lot of people will and just someone in chat just said like I'll play a deathmatch and my aim will be really good and then I'll go into a match or ESCA pug or whatever and I'll play really poorly and that is very similar to the question of consistency so the question of consistency is I'm very inconsistent with my play some days I'll be really good some days I'll be really bad how can I play more consistent or how can I get my gameplay to be more consistent rather and when people ask these questions I generally try to say to them it's not a matter of them hitting their shots between one day to the next it's the type of engagement that they're trying to take and just like every other game there is there's good engagements and there's bad engagements so I've seen in, in Dota and Starcraft and League of Legends if you play all those other games you'll know like you don't want to fight up a hill having high ground is generally speaking better you want to fight where you have vision and fog of, like where like you can see the enemy you don't want fog of war um, you know in Starcraft there's different like depending on what type of armor you have it's sometimes better to do a concave other times it's better to just ball up and bunch into a ball um, depending on what race you play so it's very similar in Counter-Strike basically you want to make sure that you're taking the best engagement possible so if you have a pistol for example because you're an eco or because it's pistol round well not really yeah even even on pistol round but let's say you're on eco round with a pistol how is the pistol most effective that's what you have to think to yourself how is the pistol most effective well it's very powerful close range and it's really shit at long range because you have limited ammo capacity the damage isn't that great long range the accuracy drops off long range but close range you can actually you know one shot people if they don't have armor with the p2000 if you have uh five seven for example five seven for example then up close on on catwalk for example is a very good position to take because one bullet in the head and you're going to kill the opponent so playing a close quarter position with a pistol is very good as opposed to playing uh, a long distance position you're going to have more success with the 5.7 if you're playing on short a cat than you are if you're going to be playing it long that's also why as a terrorist if you know that you're going against an eco you want to take a long distance battle you don't want to come up short if you know that the opponent's going to be on on eco unless you're doing like molly's smokes sorry not smokes but molly's for stairs flash and you're going uh with multiple people to clear it and get the trade kills generally speaking long is going to be a safer option for you but i'll see people even they'll come long and they'll be like oh i come long i so i smoke long cross so i can cross safely this is what people automatically think crossing long smoke it that's what you do in every other round well, the reason why you do it in every other round is because people have ops and rifles over here that are going to shoot you as you're crossing, and you want to prevent that from happening. Well, if you know that you're against an eco, if you know that you're against pistols, what you're doing with the smoke here is you're allowing the pistols to get up close and then throw a pot flash through the smoke and jump out, and now they have this close quarter combat with you. Whereas if they're all the way down here when you're crossing long, they're not going to be able to kill you if they have pistols. You have an AK versus a pistol, I'll take that fight. You'll win that battle, like... 95 out of 100 times maybe 90 out of 100 times then like 10% chance that the guy with the pistol is just gonna fucking bop you out with a couple of headshots whereas you with an AK and armor aren't gonna kill him I don't know what the actual statistic is but you get the idea don't smoke this because long range battles are good with AK versus pistol so if you're with a pistol you wanna be close to someone if you have a pistol and they smoke long you should be fucking like loving it same thing with ops same thing with uh, scouts and and everything like that so if I have an op for example ops are really good at killing people in long range and they're really good at killing people through small cracks so these doors for example are really good to peek people who are on the other side of mid if you have an op but what an op is not good for is Picking multiple angles and angles where you can get flashed and you have nowhere to fall back to because generally speaking if you get overwhelmed at mid to be on dust 2 and you have an op 
you're pretty much screwed. Maybe you get one kill before you get traded, but there's not much you can do. So if a smoke comes flying for a CT spawn, and then a pot flash comes over top, and then two or three people will start rushing out at you, and you're blind, and you have your op, and you're falling back, by the time you get here, they'll shoot you turning the corner, and what do you do? You scope out, and you try to get a kill? What happens next? You try to get to the doors? No, you're dead. You try to go window? No, you're dead. Get behind the boxes? Maybe. Maybe you're dead. So you want to make sure that you're in the best position possible for each engagement. Taking the op shot here is good at the start of the round, but then later on in the round, it's not good. Falling back to window, this is a much better engagement now. Why? You can get the shot, and now you can hide, and then you can re-peek if you want, or you can reposition yourself, or you can flash, or you can wait for re uh, rotations to come. So you have to understand what weapon you have, and what positions that you, you're supposed to take, and what uh, engagements are good and what, which engagements are bad. So a lot of the time people will take unnecessary engagements. Unnecessary engagements are, for example, if you know that you're against an op or a rifle and you're peeking like this with an AK. Bad engagement. Why? The terrorist is thinking to himself, I need to get a pick. What's, he, what's the hardest situation for me to be in? Is it hard for me to just sit here and wait for some idiot to come and peek me where I can just shoot him in the head because I'm just holding this angle? Or is it harder for me to come out, clear, close left doors, blue bin, close right, at long, car, pit, rent, barrels, all of this, like all of this area. Is it harder for me to come out and commit my life to clearing all of these angles? Or is it harder for me to just sit here and wait for someone to peek me? Well, it's easier for someone to just come and peek me. I'll just sit here and shoot them in the head. So as a counter terrorist, you should be thinking to yourself, what is the easiest way for the terrorist to win? Let's not give him that opportunity. So you want to limit the, the amount of times that you're actually peeking at people. For example, at B doors, if you're holding mid to B on dust 2, and you see the smoke going CT spawn, and you come here and you spot a guy, and you go for the shot, if you miss your shot or whatever the case may be, they know you're at doors, they're going to be looking at the doors. If you peek the doors again, they're going to be looking at you. This is a free kill for them. First thing I do when I'm coming out mid and CT spawn smoked, first thing I do, Check window, check door. That's it. So if you're just sitting here trying to like fight me from doors back and forth, I'm going to kill you. And it's a good engagement for me to take as a terrorist. As a counter-terrorist, it's a bad engagement. What I want to do instead, spot the doors, use this as a choke point, and play either back here or in the closet watching window or the car watching window. Just around here, just watching window and door. Because now I can see both angles together. And that smoked, and now they're coming through a hole where they have to clear all these other angles. Or I can play default box, or I can play like this under window, staring up. Like, or I could play at double stack, holding the doors, and this. Or I could play behind big box, doing the exact same thing. So I'm just sitting here watching for doors and window at the same time. So these are all good positions to play as a CT because as a terrorist, I have to come in, and as I'm coming in, I have to clear this entire range of spots that people can be playing at. Back there, behind big box, under your window, under your window here, back flat. There are all these positions I have to clear as a terrorist coming in here. Or if I'm coming through the doors, I come in and I either commit to the right where I'm looking anywhere in the site, or I come in and I commit to the left watching close left doors or closet. And I'm turning my back to 50% of the possible engagements. So the terrorist coming through these doors is very difficult because there's so many angles you have to clear. Coming through the window, very difficult. So many angles that you have to clear. And you don't really have much place to move. Like, if someone's just staring at you coming through the window, all I have to do is sit here, and they're going to walk right into my crosshair, 100%. So as a counter-terrorist, it's very good to take a defensive position. And it's a good engagement that you're going to have to take, that you take. And as a terrorist, to come out and clear that position, you either have to come out and know exactly where the CT is, i.e. trade killing, or you have to have advanced information that they're there by them either shooting wildly or throwing a grenade from that position where you know that they're roughly in this position and then you just come out and you just do a small adjustment um, but or you just come out and just take a gamble I think it's gonna be over there those are the three ways that you can do as a terrorist and then you still have to fucking get the shot off on the CT before the CT just sits here and just plows you out so Consistency isn't so much about hitting your shots one day to the next, it's about taking proper proper engagements. And what you're probably doing is one day you're playing against complete f shitters 
You just peek out constantly at long corner here, and you win every fight. But that's like going into an aim map server and just playing against a guy 1v1 who's a complete shitter and you just kill him every round. And then the next day you play against someone who's a lot better than you than you in aiming, and they just bang you out every time that you try doing this. And you're like, well, yesterday I was doing this and I was working, and today I'm doing it and it's not working. Why isn't it working? Oh my god. Well, it's because it's it's not a good play. It's not a good play. It worked the one day or that one time because you got lucky or because you played against someone who wasn't expecting it or you played against someone who missed their shot um, when they normally hit their shot and they just made, like, they missed. This is not a good engagement. You want to bait them out. You want the guy to have to commit his life to coming out here, which means that he has no cover. He has nowhere to fall back to. If he wants to fall back, he has to run back through the doors, which means he's out in the open. He's exposed. He's um, susceptible to being flashed peek from multiple angles so you can peek him from long corner and pit at the same time so there's different things that you can do you want to play more discipline on CT side against people who are have your number in aim battles it's as simple as that it's as simple as that you're not taking the proper engagements Would you rather have two people dedicated to holding long or sit back on the site and wait for them to push up to the ramp? I don't know if you're asking this as a troll. But. Hang on, I'll go back in the server in a second. Nice, we got Inferno. I haven't played Inferno for ages. Do I have a partnership with Amazon? No, I just have that affiliate through Twitch, so if you use my affiliate link, then uh, I get some commissions off of it. So holding a site, and it's, it's the same with holding any position on any map, it's easier for you to just focus on one angle of engagement. So, you, so either you have long control and you're on a site watching just cat, or if the enemy's coming along and your teammates have cat control and you're just here just to kill them as they come up the ramp. Those are the only two times that you're going to be playing on a bomb site. You're not going to be playing a bomb site if your teammates, if like you have to watch along and short together, unless it's something like a two versus two or three versus three situation. Reason being is if they're coming two people long or three people long and two people cat, like three, two split, either three long or three cat. If you're here trying to ink, like dodge and like focus on engagements, like here I'm putting my like I'm covering myself from lung using this box as a cover for lung, but now I'm just fighting cat where they can just run up cat and I cannot move from this area. Like I'm I'm like stuck in this position, this area. I can't move anywhere. So if they're coming, like if I want to fight lung, now I have to use this box to protect me from cat. And again. I can't move from this position because if I move from this position, the cat guys will be able to see me. I use this to block long, otherwise long can see me. I use this to block cat, otherwise cat can see me. These aren't good ways to engage with the enemy. Okay, if I'm if it's like one person here, one person here, or one person there, and two people there, different story. Now I can say, okay, I'm gonna just use this one versus one engagement, win this engagement. Now I have good position on this box to hold for cat and let my teammates rotate to me. So in a three versus three or two versus two, this is an acceptable position. In a 5 versus 5 or 4 versus 4, it's not. Not if my teammates are too far away to help me. If I have a teammate down long watching long, then yeah, this is an acceptable position because now I can use this entire box, I can crouch next to it, I can pop my head up like this, I can peek left, I can peek right, I can peek from back here, I can crouch up and down, um, or I can play from the rim. And that's a lot better. So you have to know what you're exposed to and you want to limit the amount of um, 